Nur Pashtin has come to meet the supporters of the cause. It is impossible for him to maintain a low profile. He has many fans here. Hero, uh, uh, in our mind is Manzur Pashtin. Manzur comes from one of the seven worst hit tribal areas, North Waziristan, a sanctuary for major Islamist groups of the region. His family has had to flee bombings on four separate occasions. When military operations started in the area, we had to leave our land. On one side, the Taliban attacked us. On the other, it was the Pakistani army bombing us. Manzur is 26 years old and has a degree in veterinary studies. Since he's taken up the cause of his people, he has received several threats, including from the Taliban. What are they going to do to me? Destroy my house? That's already done. Kill my loved ones? I'm used to that too. I've already seen so many blown to pieces. I'm no stranger to enduring cruelty. The Pashtun movement has been fighting for justice for this man, Mohammed Mehsud. Police in Karachi killed his son, Nakibullah, an aspiring model in an encounter. They said he was a terrorist. These encounters or extrajudicial killings are common in Pakistan. I wanted him to give up modeling and wear more traditional clothes, but you know, he had such modern tastes. After his son's death, the Pashtun movement organized protests in several cities across the country, including the capital. I will find my son's murderer. Even with this small torch, I will look for him in the sky, behind trees, behind mountains, and I will find him. Under pressure, the Supreme Court of Pakistan launched an investigation into the killing. Mehsud is attending a hearing today without knowing that the judges will order the arrest of a high-ranking policeman. It will take place in a few days and will be the first victory for Manzur's movement. But the fight to win greater civil rights for the Pashtun people is far from over.